to another FPV Guy video. I am Bo Lorenzen, the FPV Guy. And today I have with me two Unique Q500 related products. First of all, we're gonna take a look at the Unique Typhoon G, which is really the Typhoon GoPro edition. And that I'm gonna to explain to you why this is such a wonderful deal, because you get a complete aerial platform for about $900 all in this box if you already have a GoPro. Now the other product is just as cool, if not even more cool, as you know, I love FPV. After the video Brad and I did a while back, where we converted a Typhoon Q500 into an FPV quad, we've gotten a lot of questions how to do that. And now this has been made incredibly simple because together with Frank at carolinadrones.com, we have created a plug and play FPV kit for Q500 owners. It's literally that easy. It's plug in, plug on, and start flying FPV. We're gonna take a look at that, but first let's take a look at the GoPro Typhoon. So here it is, and the kit comes with the action handle down here that holds the gimbal. It comes with the gimbal, it comes with the Q500, and it comes with the radio. So this is a fully featured kit, including batteries and charger. Let me rephrase that. This kit particularly comes with one battery and a charger. So let's take a look what's inside. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. And we can't forget one of the greatest features with the Unique products right here on top you're going to see the contact information for the Unique offices around the world they have 800 numbers you can call them and all Unique products comes with a six month warranty on the product which is really the best warranty available in the industry so that right there alone is a reason for picking a Unique multirotor moving on real quickly I'm not gonna get into everything in this thing. It comes with two sets of propellers, but we have already looked at that. So let's get this out. So we're done with this lid. The reason I'm not getting into all the details is because I did a very elaborate review of the Q500 4K. And if you click up here on the screen right now, you can see there's a link, and that's gonna open a new window with the full review of the Q500 4K edition. The only difference from that aircraft to this one is the GoPro gimbal. So let's take a look at the gimbal. We'll take this thing out real quickly and I'm gonna show you the rest of the case here so we can move on. In here you have battery, charger, battery charger, the power supply, you have the radio and below the radio, you can see down at the bottom is the gimbal handle so that you can do a handheld video with the same gimbal. So when you buy this kit, you get the gimbal and you also get the handle so you can walk down the street and do a handheld video with a stabilized GoPro. Putting the box away. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this. Basically, the multi-rotor of the Q500 here is identical to the other Q500s, which have already established themselves as very well flying and great for new users in that you can set the cruising speed on the handset. So you can set it to go faster or slower as you like. That is a great feature for a new user. And it's now Unic is setting themselves apart because DJI have decided with their Phantom series not to offer a GoPro option anymore. They're only offering DJI's own cameras. And a lot of us like using GoPros. GoPro is kind of the benchmark camera in the industry. And with that, you can now use a GoPro on this aircraft. Really quickly, it is mounted. You can see here on the detailed camera how it's mounted into the existing track, exactly like the regular camera is. Behind it, you find what's different. Right here, you see the 5.8 Wi-Fi video transmitter. You can see how it's plugged into the gimbal with this cable, and that powers the Wi-Fi transmitter. And then it has a small cable right here that goes into the side of the GoPro before you insert the GoPro into the gimbal. And finally, the, I don't know if you can see it here. And finally, the gimbal 
is powered by being plugged into the aircraft right here. So we already know the aircraft. Now I'm going to take off the gimbal. I do that by pushing up the quick release button and then I'm going to reach underneath and unplug the video transmitter cable and the power cable. So there you have it guys. That is, and by the way, this is one of the new gimbals that's probably giving us a glimpse of the future. Notice the tree markers right here. That is the same as the tree pins in this cable. I assume that by next year, we are going to start to see Typhoon or Unic products without any cables. You just slide them right on and the gimbal is connected, which sounds like a great idea. On the back of the gimbal here, you see the stabilizing feature this that's this plastic device there it is that you want to hold on to because gimbals are really sensitive devices you never want to torque them or overstress them because if you do you can damage these things basically this is the entire thing and notice how the camera fits in here unlike a lot of gimbals this particular gimbal does not have any things to force the camera in place it has enough tension that you simply just push your GoPro in and you're in business. So let's grab a GoPro. Uh, this is not a good one. Look at that hole right here. That was from the other day I was flying my mini quad and had a less than elegant landing. It took out the USB plug. So this one is going to need some service. This one is better. It is a GoPro 4 silver edition with a 2.7K and a screen on the back. And I'm going to tell you why I like the screen so much. And first we're going to put it in, as you can see right here, this is the standard position and tilting it backwards allows me to put the camera in. And now I just kind of pushing along the edges. I can just push it right down until it's all the way in. And there you go. The camera is installed. So we want to see this operating. So like I said, in this kit is also included a gimbal handle. And this one is powered. I already put batteries in this one. So we're just gonna slide this on. And underneath here is where the plug goes. So I'm gonna take the plug and plug it right in here, just like that. And now we're kind of ready. How about if I take this box and you can see. So right here. And now what I'm gonna do is power it up. I power it up by sliding the little red power switch on the back there. And notice I put this on the ground while I started up because you want this IMU, which is the sensor that senses movement to be relaxed and not have any input while it starts up and calibrates itself. There, you heard the beep. So now this has told us it has been started up. It has initialized itself and we have a stabilized camera. Let's check that real quickly. Look at that. The camera is nice and stabilized. One of the cool things that is a little Thing we can use to adjust the angle of the camera on top by sliding it up or down, we tilt the camera. So that means as we walk down the street or wherever we are shooting our video, we can adjust the angle of the camera with our thumb right here. Now the cool thing about the silver edition with the screen on the back is I can actually see the screen as I'm using the camera. So I could use this without any iPhone or any or a smartphone on top because I don't have to see more than the little screen on the back of the camera. Of course, these cameras are so wide anyway, as long as you kind of point them in the direction of the action, you can see everything. Up on top here is a flip up top like this, and you can put a smartphone in, put it down like that, and here is your screen very securely held. Now in this case here, you can actually use the GoPro app to see what's coming from the GoPro sitting in the gimbal. So it's a very simple way to manage the camera because we can use off the shelf apps and an off the shelf GoPro. You can also use this with a GoPro tree and I'm sure in the fall when they release the GoPro 5, it will also fit in there. I'm a big fan of GoPros and the way I usually use them is I record in the 2.7K mode set to medium field of view. I don't like the fisheye, so medium gets a little narrower, but 2.7K is enough that I can edit and then I render out to 1080p for upload, I get a really nice sharp image from this setting. So there it is. This is the GoPro gimbal. I can only turn it, if I turn it this far, I start shaking. 
And when I stop it, it's right back to working nicely. Now, this is the, basically the GoPro gimbal for the Unic Multicopters. As you notice, the cable I plugged in here is really only power and probably a servo signal from, for the pitch and nothing else. That means if you wanted to, you could hang this gimbal on virtually any other copter you want to and just power it and you're still gonna have a gimbal that's gonna work great. I started out by saying, I think this is a great deal. And that is because we're looking at the same copter that is in the Q500 4K edition that cost about $1,400 for that kit. And that kit is competing, of course, directly with DJI's P3 Pro edition with the 4K, also a 4K camera. But the interesting thing is, since last generation, everybody stopped shipping GoPro compatible gimbals. And with this, we again have a GoPro compatible gimbal. So we get the full kit, including the handheld for $899, which really, in my opinion, is a great value because it's a great flying copter. It's easy to fly and we can use the GoPro cameras. So this is one of my favorite new things. I love the GoPro gimbal. It's very stable. Let me put this over here and we're going to move to the other package, the one I'm using as a table. Let's put this here. And I need a it just so happens I have an original Q500 sitting here because this is a brilliant candidate for becoming a FPV quad. Let's get this opened up here somewhere. And the thing with the Unix is, of course, they have video down, but it's video that goes to the handset and it comes through a Wi-Fi connection, so it has some delay. Now, if you want to fly goggles, the handset and the Wi-Fi video is not very helpful. And also because of the delay, if you fly between trees and stuff, it doesn't work very well because when I see a tree and I think I'm passing it, but in reality, I get the video two seconds after I'm that close to the tree. That means I'm gonna hit the tree before I see the crash. So in order to fly FPV at low level, like you see Brad doing in this video, I'm playing a little bit of here, you need to have the video immediately without any delay. And that is what we tried to put together here. And thankfully, Frank has picked it up and Carolina Drones has these available now. Let me show it to you right here. This is the kit. Up on top, it has the slide in option like any camera for a Unic has. Underneath it has a standard Fat Shark transmitter and a Fat Shark camera. I really should take off this lens hood right here. And scooting that up on here, you can see where it goes. It goes right there. You just push it down and pull it until it clicks. Underneath here is where this connects. So you just connect the cable. And the kit also comes with two so-called mushroom circular polarized antennas. They're not really mushrooms, but they look like little mushrooms, right? Just don't smoke them. This one here now goes on the antenna you can see right here. So we're just gonna get it aimed in right. And you don't have to turn the antenna, you just need to turn that gold collar. For some reason the antenna is turning as well. There, once the collar is fairly tight, you just bent the antenna up a bit and there you go. Now the antenna basically should be flat with the ground. So that you have right here, you can kind of see how that goes if I hold it for the camera like that. This should be flat with the skids because the antenna radiates on the side of it. So in order to get the most possible distance, we need to have that flat. And the same way when we take the goggles, I should not take those goggles and grab these ones. This is the Predators that's included in the kit. And this is kind of the mid-range Fat Shark goggle. Now, to use these with the most effect, you need to bend the antenna up like this. Again, so that it's level with the ground. And I find, like for instance, my friend Brad, when he flies, he ends up sitting like this or like this. And he kind of looks like he's drooling a little bit, but don't tell him about it. He sits like this. So what you have to do is come and 
touch his antenna a little bit and adjust it until it's level with the world. Then he gets the most range out of his antennas. So we have this, the goggles already. The goggles include, let me take the kit so you can take a look at it. There, so here is the full kit. There's the goggles right here. I'm not gonna actually pop this open since it's a sealed pack. Here is the a little cleaner. Here is the Fat Shark quality control. And in the back here, you see that there is a battery. That's a standard battery for the Fat Shark. There's a charging cable. There's also a video cable, so you can connect this to other video sources. There's a power plug, so you can connect it to a 2 or 3S battery. And there's a couple of power cables right here. And finally in the kit, there's two of these circular right-hand polarized spiral net antennas. That's everything you need to start going FPVing. All you have to do is slide it on and go click, charge the goggles and start flying. Let me put this back up so you can see that again. The other thing we did when we designed this was I left a couple of holes on the side of it right here so that instead of this standard camera, you can update and for instance, use the Fat Shark 700 TB line CCD camera, which is amazing. That camera can almost see in darkness and I often fly in the evening and when I land, I look around and I can't believe how dark it's gotten. It's the same resolution as this camera, but it has a better sensor. So that update, it has screw holes available so you can update to that camera. And you can also, if you wanted to, you can update to a more powerful transmitter simply by popping this one out and plugging another one in. All the cables are the same and they will fit. You just pluck it out and pluck the cable into the new transmitter. So this is incredibly modular. It's very easy to use. And like I said, it comes right on and off. You just literally push the button here and you can slide it up and slide it down. So it's very easy to switch it on and off with your regular unit camera. And with this thing, you have 100% FPV flight option. So with that, that is today's new products, the QFPV kit from Carolina Drones for 379 and the fully loaded GoPro edition of the Unit Q500. And of course you can get the fully loaded Q500 with the GoPro Gimbal, that is $899. If you prefer to just buy the Gimbal, it's $399. And I know both of those are available from Frank. So stay tuned. Do click up here to subscribe for more FPV Guy videos. And thank you for watching.